Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. If you love chocolate and cheesecake, today's epic cheesecake recipe is for you. I'm going to make the ultimate triple chocolate cheesecake mousse cake creation. It has just so much incredible chocolate. We're gonna start with the chocolate graham cracker crust, make a dark chocolate cheesecake, milk chocolate and white chocolate mousse layers and then add more chocolate on top in the form of ganache. This cheesecake is just pure chocolate perfection. And a quick tip before we get started on the chocolate crust, I wanted to talk about my springform pan. I'm using a nine inch pan today, and then I double wrap the bottom and the sides of the pan with foil to prevent any water from leaking in. I will be using a water bath, and I actually recommend you guys use a water bath for every single cheesecake. It's going to make the cheesecake really nice and level, and you won't get any cracks on the top. And onto my crust, I'm going to need one and a half cups of cookie crumbs. It's about 10, 12 crackers, just place them into a food processor and pulse the cookies into fine crumbs. And then I'll pour in a quarter cup of melted butter and that butter's just gonna bring all those cookie crumbs together and pulse that for a couple more seconds. Transfer those crumbs over into my prepared pan. And moving along onto my first layer, my dark chocolate cheesecake layer. I measured out one and a half packages, about 12 ounces of softened cream cheese. Going to drop that into my mixer. Now today I'm going to be adding some ricotta cheese into my cheesecake as well. And it's actually been one of my favorite ways of making a cheesecake. It just makes it so light and fluffy, adds so much volume and it's absolutely delicious. And once you've added all that cream cheese, just give it a whisk on medium to high speed for about six to seven minutes until it's really light and fluffy. Then I'll add in a half a cup of ricotta cheese and I like to use whole milk ricotta. It's just really nice and creamy. Half a cup of white granulated sugar, about one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of dark cocoa powder, and to really bring out that chocolate flavor, I'll be adding some uh, concentrated coffee for this. I had one teaspoon of instant coffee granules. I added one tablespoon of boiling water. Just let that dissolve, stir it all together, and it's ready to be added. And then one third cup of melted dark chocolate chips. Mix that all together for a minute. And make sure you're scraping down the sides of your mixing bowl every so often to get everything incorporated. And last, I'm going to add in my eggs, just two large eggs. Give this a good mix for about two to three minutes and then that filling is all done. Pour that over the prepared chocolate crust. And this cheesecake is just about ready to go into the oven. I just placed my springform pan onto a larger baking sheet. I'm going to add in a little bit of water and that should be sufficient to add extra moisture into the oven and keep my cheesecake nice and level. It's going to bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour, hour 15 minutes. You want the sides to be nicely set but the center should be just slightly wobbly. Take it out, let it cool completely, then I'll come back to finish off the other two layers. Moving on to my milk chocolate layer. I've softened eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to drop that into my mixer bowl along with half a cup of whole milk ricotta cheese. Next, add in three fourths cup of melted milk chocolate chips and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix that all together. And during this mixing process, make sure you're scraping down the sides of your mixing bowl pretty often to get everything incorporated. Next up, I'll add in half a cup of confectioner's sugar and one cup of chilled heavy cream. I'm gonna start this out on a slow speed for about a minute or two and then turn that up to medium high until you have a fluffy mixture. To set my milk chocolate layer, I'll be using some unflavored gelatin one tablespoon of gelatin to two tablespoons of water. Pour that in and then stir this around. I'm going to take this over to the microwave and heat it in 10 to 15 second intervals, stirring um, every 10 to 15 seconds for about a minute until that gelatin is completely dissolved. 
Once your gelatin is dissolved, there's no need to let it cool. You could pour it straight away into the mixing bowl and let this mix for about 30 seconds. My dark chocolate cheesecake layer has cooled completely and then I placed an acetate cake collar to add a little bit more height to the pan. Now it's time to add this milk chocolate filling right on top. Just grab a spatula and pour that straight on top. I like to just tap the pan a few times to get it nicely settled. And this is ready to go into the fridge. I'm going to let it set there for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to get started on my white chocolate cheesecake layer. And the process for the white chocolate is really similar to the milk chocolate. I have four ounces of softened cream cheese, a third cup of ricotta cheese, and I have three-fourths cup of melted white chocolate chips. Just mix this all together for a few minutes, scraping down the sides of that mixing bowl until you have a smooth and clump-free mixture. Add one cup of chilled heavy cream. And then same thing with this, just mix it on low speed for about a minute and then turn it up to medium-high and then mix for a couple minutes until it's light and fluffy. And I'll be adding the same gelatin mixture, this time with two teaspoons of gelatin and one and a half tablespoons of water. Again, don't let it cool, add it in while it's still hot straight into the mixture and mix it for about 30 seconds. And I'll pour that over the set milk chocolate layer. And this cake is ready to go back into the fridge. You'll wanna let it set for a minimum of six hours, or if you have the time, let it stay in there overnight to, so it sets up really nice and firmly. Then we'll come back tomorrow to take it out of the pan and add some chocolate ganache on top. All right, guys, my cheesecake has sat in the refrigerator overnight. Now it's time to take a look at it, take it out of the pan and get it garnished. Oh, that is stunning. I love the multi-layered look on here. I'm gonna grab a little spatula to uh, scoop the cake off the pan and onto my stand. Just gonna slide it, nudge it into one corner and then work your way around the cake. This cake is just stunning. I love how it turned out. All right, and now on to garnishing this cheesecake. I made a simple chocolate ganache. I'll include that on my blog, on my website. I'm just gonna pour that over the edge. Grab a little spatula, kind of work it down. But that's not all. I'm also going to add some simple whipped cream on top. And I have some of these beautiful chocolate garnishes. I actually have a video recipe showing you guys how to make these. So if you wanna learn how to make them, go ahead and check that out. I'll include it down in the video description box. And this just makes any cake look extra fancy. Time to dig in and enjoy this. And then I like to make um, extra whipped cream so we can add some onto every single slice. Mmm. Now this is what I call a chocolate cheesecake. Absolutely amazing. I love how light and fluffy it is, all thanks to the ricotta cheese that we added, but it's still really rich with that chocolate flavor. Richness and light and fluffy. You cannot beat this cake. It is just amazing. So run over to my website right now and get the recipe and make this cheesecake tonight. You are going to thank me tomorrow when you have this to enjoy with your dinner. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.